Born from the ashes 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 Born from the Born from the Watch me rain I personally don't proxy open, uh, do proxy openers at all. I, I kind of think it's a little bit scammy, but uh, yeah, they are, they can be very powerful. Um, especially on this map, it has some pretty good hiding locations, especially right where John Z plans on uh, proxy. Um, but I do typically try to scout there just because I do know that it is powerful. Uh, proxy openers are powerful. Yeah, it's a good spot for it for sure. Pro proxies are annoying. They are annoying. I would much rather just have my tech inside my base. That way, yeah, I don't lose it so easily. I like to proxy his Terran a lot. It's definitely fun. But yeah, no, John Cena's gonna have two gates up. Second gate is gonna be a little late. He's got that Stargate going down. And what it's gonna end up being, you'll see, is gonna be an Oracle. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna expand. And then I'm gonna keep making stalkers. I'm just gonna keep making stalkers out of these two gates. Meiji joined the server. Um, and then once I get my Probo account up, I'll just, uh, you know, get some more tech from there. So now all I have to do is defend this proxy, and I basically win the game, because I'm going to have more Stalkers than my opponent, and my base is way ahead of his. So all I have to do is not lose all of my workers. It's going to be interesting to uh, defend this type of stuff once the Mama Core goes by, but I don't have it yet. Yeah, it would be nice to see Loading you have that gas like a earlier. noob, look at me. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have that Mama Core a little bit earlier, just so that you do have uh, a couple of photon overcharges to defend, and then you can use those stalkers to defend your natural um, in case you decide to find the Oracle in there. Absolutely, you've got it down to a science. That's the way it's supposed to go. Post two. Mama Core is gonna come up just in time, although I've got it rallied in the wrong place. Yep, yeah, Mama Core, or um, Battle Oracle does get pushed away. Magic joined your channel coaching okay. Lobby so 1 on the server. What I'm gonna do here is. Magic was moved out of your channel BM channel on the server. Move straight across the map because I know that my opponent does not have as many stalkers as me. How could he? He made an oracle. Oracle isn't going to do anything to my stalkers. So I'm going to go ahead and walk across the map. Why not? Uh, um, it would be nice to have seen him uh, try to get a few more pro kills. Uh, oh, actually, never mind. He is uh, zero energy. He must not have turned that laser off right away when he uh, came in the first time. No, he did not, and that hurts. Um, yeah, so that is going to be pretty much it. There's nothing he can do about that many stalkers. I'm going to deny his base. So uh, from here, and all I have to do is not lose my stalkers, right? Yes. I mean, is there any way for if you if you're John Cena and you find yourself in a position like this, is there a way to come back? Uh, I don't feel there is. Uh, perhaps if he had gotten the, uh, the pylons down earlier and they were and they were finished up before he had come in, um, he could have used some photon overcharges to, to buy himself enough time to maybe get a, a robo out. Um, yeah, but I mean, at, at this point, I don't see there's any way for him to, for him to reliably come back. Yeah, um, not being they... able to uh, overcharge at his natural definitely hurt a lot. Yeah, and I do like your decision here to just, you know, go on home. You know that you're going to be so far ahead of him at this point. You don't need to push and potentially risk losing these, uh, these stalkers. Right. Protoss army is expensive. I want to hold on to this stuff. I don't want to lose him. I like Absolutely. my Absolutely. <laughs> you're ahead. Let's get farther ahead. Why not, man? That's the way it goes. I would don't necessarily need to be in a rush. Ago. Nope, you are right now. Hey, it looks like you're going to catch it. One cute thing is that's going to happen here is John Cena is going to see me killing his proxy. And at some point here he's going to fly over and build a stasis trap. Check out this oracle. Did 
Do you pick it up? No, you're gonna. Oh. <laughs> I would have just killed it. Uh, you saw the duo range. I barely it. set it off. I would have just used my orc, my observer, uh, to take that out because uh, the I took it as range. a challenge. I wanted <laughs> to get by, and I failed. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I guess that's the difference between you and uh, and Zest. Zest probably would have killed it like a noob. My observer is going to get to John Cena's base here now, so he's got his natural back up. Meanwhile, I have been mining pretty well on mine for a while. So again, he's got a Void Ray or so, but, you know, again, with how much his expansion was behind mine, not too much that can be done. Yeah. And now I threw out my gateways. Yeah, now we're about to have people gateway explosion. Do all the comfy stuff. I just get the stalker life nice and easy. Just hit S. Yeah, you hit B every once in a while. B. Or blink. Oh, that's right. That's what I use because I use standard hockey's. As do I. I just. I was thinking about the warping. Standard is life. Standard is love. Yeah, you are going ahead and getting that charge upgrade, which I do like, because obviously you know your opponent's probably going to want to go for a mortar to try to counter you. Um, and those chalkers just wreck that stock of the other that he's going to go for. Oh yeah, got to get some charge in there too. Jetterix has definitely turned me on to those charge lots. You know what, there really is no reason not to. I mean, it's 100-100, it's cheap, and you know what? It's a so, little bit extra damage. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of extra damage because they can not only do they do more damage when they hit, but closing that distance lets them get a few more swipes in. And it creates this little wall that they can't really walk past. It does. It crowd controls their army very nicely, um, depending on the way you hit them, and it can definitely cause problems for position Good focus wise. fire. The aggressive blink is nice. I would have uh, I would have saved that blink though and waited for them to try to retreat first, but it does looks like it doesn't matter. I mean, I figure he probably doesn't have blink, so. Oh well, that is true. But I meant um, when he tried to escape, that's when I would have blinked on top of his eye. Um, that way you can just get a few more shots in. It didn't seem to matter. It didn't matter. You did kill it all before the uh, without him being able to escape with those. Just for fun. Kill that stasis trap. Why not? Now you pretty much move in. Yeah, uh, you get a little aggressive moving into these, uh, these uh, overcharges, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably like to see those gorgeous come out a little earlier, I think. The warp prism in there, love that. I just hit the warp prism right next to his army. Drop a round of zealots, and that is gonna be it. So, I hope you all enjoyed that replay. Hope it helps you out with your PvP a little bit. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a good day.